Hey baby dolls, it's Brie and I am back with another video. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today's video, as the title suggests, will be an Aldi's haul. You guys, it's going to be crazy here. Um, just a little background. I woke up this morning and it was 57 degrees. I kid you not. Right now, just a few hours later, it's 14 degrees and the temperature is steadily dropping. So I decided to go to the store, stock up on some things that I could have, you know, keep in the um, refrigerator while all this craziness is going on outside. There's going to be like this ice storm that lasts for like two, three days. So I just wanted to prepare. So you guys already know that I'm not like one of those YouTubers with like a fancy backdrop and all of that. So you can totally see my lamp in the mirror, but, um, this is not going to be edited. I'm just going to show you guys what I got and I'm going to click that in button. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you like what I got, leave a comment. Um, also tell me what you like to get at Aldi because to be quite honest, I would often go to places like Giant Eagle, which is a grocery store chain here. Um, I would also go to Save a Lot. Um, I would go to Trader Joe's and I think Aldi is like a sister company to Trader Joe's. So Maybe that's why I really have started to um, enjoy the products and things like that that they offer there. So I don't want to make this video too long. I'm literally just going to show you what I got and that's it. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and uh, let's get it. So the first thing I got was this mushroom pizza. It's supposed to be a bistro style flatbread pizza and um you know what? It really didn't cost that much. It was like $5.99, but it has um, some sort of fancy name sauce, <laughs> mushrooms, um, tons of mozzarella cheese, mushroom sauce, white truffle flavored olive oil. So I'm looking forward to this. It just sounds like it's going to be so decadent. I cannot wait. I also got, y'all know me, some chicken wings. And I know a lot of people, you know, they're into like baking them. Um, maybe one day here soon, I'll get like an air fryer or something like that. But until then, they're going in the grease and they're going to be good. So I'm going to toss them with some sauce and things like that. And of course, you guys, I don't plan to like consume all of this, you know, during this like ice storm or whatever. I just went and got some stuff and some of it will be eaten and consumed later on. So just saying. I also got some shrimp um raw shrimp i don't like shrimp that is already cooked because i find that even if you like just fold it into pasta to me it just seems like it's overly done and the cool part about um aldi brand shrimp is believe it or not like it's really clean it's deveined like sometimes you know when you buy shrimp like you still have to do like like a little bit of cleaning and all that like with these like you really don't have to do anything aside from rinse them off pat them dry season them and go on about your business i also got some risotto this is pea and asparagus risotto it's got a creamy white sauce so this is enough just for me all right so i got that i also got some chicken broth this is their fit and active brand okay i got some wontons in my fridge and i keep saying i'm gonna make like wonton soup but i just haven't gotten around to it so that really is what that broth is for um and wonton soup is so easy to make and of course it's not like authentic but it tastes good and that's all that counts right i also saw this this is the hot and sweet chili jam now, I don't know what you put chili jam on. They've got like this suggested recipe on the back. But I'm thinking that I'm going to add this to some salmon and do like a sweet and hot type of, you know, seasoning on there. Like, I really feel like all I would have to do is just like base the salmon with this and it would be good to go. Maybe like some garlic powder maybe a little bit of salt, but we'll see. I've, I've never tried this before. So I was like, I, I wanna give this a go. So I got that today. I also got some mushrooms. Oop, they're backwards, they're upside down, I mean. 
So I got this. I think that I'm going to add them to my um, wonton soup. Again, it's going to be so bomb. I made it before and I was like trying to fold them and they looked a little jacked up, but they tasted good. So I was happy. I was proud of myself. Got some green peppers. Now, normally for green peppers and things like that, I'll go to my local, come on, focus. I'll go to my local um, farmer's market, but I was like, they're only 99 cents. I'm picking them up, packed or not. Let's see. I'm going to go around here and get some more stuff. Now, this avocado, it probably has to be eaten like sooner than later, but it was only um, like 45 cents. So I was like, I'm definitely going to get that. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus, but a single avocado. It's just me, right? Some Italian seasoning. And I really like this brand. I like their little seasoning. Um, they also have like extracts too. So check them out. If you go to Aldi, check them out. I got some fruit as well. I got some raspberries. Some Granny Smith apples. Whoa. Can you see that? It's a big old bag of them. And in this bag, let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Maybe eleven or twelve if my count wasn't off. But this bag of apples was only like two forty nine, so I may be like a few cents or like a dollar off, but all of their prices are so reasonable. Seriously. I got some oranges, navel oranges, sweet, juicy, and seedless. All right now. What else do we have here? Um, got some salad mix. These are the mixed greens, baby greens. Um, so it's kale, spinach, and chard. And some of the products are sweating a little bit, so sorry about that. Also got this sweet butter blend of lettuce. we go there's the infamous drop it's always some um some potatoes this is a 10 pound bag and this bag was like 349 yeah so i'm going to be making tons of fries mashed potatoes um what do you call those diced potatoes like it for your breakfast Are they home fries yeah home fries with the peppers onions all that it's gonna be so good I also picked up some quinoa and it has garlic and basil so I'm looking forward to that and with many of the things that I get it's like I want to make sure I'm getting stuff where I can prepare it easily and quickly because after a long day's work I don't feel like being in the kitchen 500 years like it, it don't take all that you know what I'm saying so what else do we have here i've got some mini pies and they're so cute there's three pumpkin and three apple flavor mini pies in this box okay who made this belmont um belmont they also make um ice cream there i'm sure they make other things but at least that's what i've noticed they're already okay Almost ready, guys. Turkey burgers. Okay. And they're a fourth of a pound, I believe. No artificial ingredients. Minimally processed. Um, good source of protein. 16 grams per serving. 
So yeah, they're ready to cook. You just slap them in the pan along with a little bit of oil so that they don't stick. Or you can bake them, I mean, if you're really being health conscious. But yeah, turkey burgers. How many are there? Yeah, 12. Yeah, four pound burgers. So pick those up by Kirkwood. I also got some bacon. Okay. Gotta have some bacon. So that the bacon's good for breakfast. The bacon's good for the turkey burgers. You could crisp up like a slice of bacon. Throw it over that lettuce for your salad. Just saying. Um, or maybe make like a potato dish in the oven and crumble it up over the top. That would be such good eating. So, I got some mandarin oranges. And these are good to have because you can just crack these open. As you can see, it has like that top where you could just peel it back. But I got these because I love, come on, focus. I love mandarin oranges and they're in light syrup. I got this, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but it just sounded good. Jalfrizi Simmer Sauce. It says, can you see that? Okay. It has smoky medium spiced tomato puree curry with onions, garlic, ginger, and peppers. So honestly, I don't know what I'm going to put in here or what I'm going to like use this for, but it just sounded good. So, um... A safe thing would be chicken, um, maybe like some chickpeas, something that I can simmer um, low and slow and then just put it over rice. Because like, how could you go wrong with something that has garlic, ginger, peppers and tomato puree? I mean, you really can. So looking forward to that. Um, what else did I get? I got some almond milk for some cereal that I already had in the... Um, in the kitchen this is their brand friendly farms it's only 60 calories also i always have a sweet tooth well i often have a sweet tooth but i got some rice puddings and they were made by senor rico so these are like single serve cups how big is this it's only eight ounces right so i got two of them all right, and these are 260 calories, but eh, who's counting calories? Like, does it really matter? <laughs> no, it does. I mean, but I like it, so I got it, you know. I'll make a for it in another area. Got some cream cheese. And this is the um, the spread, so it'll just spread easily over my next item which is these large croissants. So I'm gonna be in there, six of them in there. And no, this was not like a healthy food haul. This was just literally me going in and getting what I wanted, what I know that I would like. And that was just it. Um, let's see, I got some ice cream. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, Belmont. Focus, okay. Make fudge, not war. I don't know why it looks so crusty. Um, not crusty, but like, I don't know what that was on the front. But it's super premium ice cream, and it just looks so decadent. It says it's chocolate ice cream with brownie chunks. So I cannot wait to dig into this. Okay. And I didn't get a big one. I just got like a small one. Just a couple little scoops is all I need. Um, I'm nearing home base. Yes, this video is going to be under 20 minutes. I'm so long winded. Like my videos are always long. Let's see. I got instead. I normally use extra virgin olive oil to like saute things or to, um, do like my pre poos for my hair. Um, I use extra virgin olive oil for everything, like for food, for my scalp, for my skin, whatever. Um, but instead of getting the extra virgin olive oil for my scrubs, my scalp, like I said, my pre-poos or um, to cook with, 
Instead, I got grapeseed oil this go round. All right. So this is perfect for stir frying, deep frying, sauteing, and baking. All right. So last but not least, I got some stuff to drink. So this is the Benner lemon iced tea mix and it's already sweetened so literally all you have to do is add water okay it's a big canister it's like as big as um like a coffee canister or something yes three pounds is 50 ounces so i'm looking forward to this and you guys a little um tip if you really want to make your iced tea super good whether you're making it um, using actual tea bags or a mix like this add some orange slices i'm telling you it's gonna set it off it's gonna be so 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 good i'm telling you i also got this mango tangerine juice blend and it says that it doesn't have any um high fructose corn syrup and it's 100 percent juice so um, even though it's 100% juice, it does have a lot of calories and things like that. So I just get it when I'm, I'm just tired of like drinking water with the lemon juice and the ginger and all of that. I'm trying to get a little better, but I, I got to keep it real with myself. I do like my juice, but I figure this is better than pop. So I think that is it. I think I got everything. Yep, I think I got everything. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Again, I got all these items from Aldi. These things were less than $70, you guys. So it is a great place to shop, especially if you have a family. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, baby dolls.